and welcome to this week's video. These are my weekly vlogs where I keep a track of what I've been doing as a professional musician working in the UK. Now coming up on this week's video, I have to play the drums again. Then the drummer makes a dramatic entrance. And just to show that the novelty of my new Eventide H9 hasn't worn off, I'm still making silly sounds with it. Right, now before I start with the gig footage, I want to introduce a bit of Christmas cheer into this video. A couple of weeks ago I was mucking around my Cog Cortex and I found this rather nice preset called a Lush Plate or something like that. And I'd also been looking on, I think it's ProGuitar.com, I think that's what it's called, a Pro Guitar Academy, which is an excellent website and I've downloaded a couple of those lessons and had a look at them. And this is one of the free lessons and this is an arrangement of Silent Night. Now I'm not playing his exact arrangement because I didn't have a time to learn it properly. I used some of his excellent ideas and did some of my own things. And also I didn't do it on acoustic guitar, I did it on my Strat. So through the Quad Cortex, I think it was a lush plate into my Viru King amp. So here we are, just a bit of Christmas cheer to get us started. To the gigs now this first gig i've shown myself playing with this band several times it's called the vincents it's a uh, kevin on double bass and vocals and ivan on drums now this is a kind of rockabilly type thing and i used my gretch actually when i first did the band but i used my telecaster uh, this time and it was good fun and for the first time i had my h9 on my pedal board now in the past if you look back through my videos i have used my uh, Roland tape echo on this gig but with this I used the slap preset which I don't think I've changed it from the one that shipped with it now this is the preset this is using the H910 algorithm and it gives a very nice slap sound so that's what I'm using on this and this first solo is from uh, Johnny Cash's Folsom Prison Blues <laughs> And now another song, we went a bit funky here. This is a Steve Ray Vaughan song, which I've not done with this band before. In fact, I haven't played this for years. I used to play it quite a lot. It's Mary Had a Little Lamb, and it gets quite funky here. Um, but I'm not doing it in a Steve Ray Vaughan style exactly, because for a start, I'm playing on a Telecaster. And secondly, I've got Slapback Echo, neither of which are very Steve Ray Vaughan. Anyway, I thought this was pretty cool and pretty funky. So here we are. This is using that same preset as in the last clip. Followed her to school. Yeah. 
What I'm really enjoying about the H9 is that you can set up your own preset list for each gig. And I've only just set the one up for this Vincent's gig. And it's a very short preset list on this one. There's only three. And I only use two of the presets. So the slap's the first one. And the second one is a Leslie sort of rotating speaker cabinet sound. So I'm still getting to grips with this. I've seen some great clips of Danny Gatton doing some kind of Hammond organ stuff. And he, he does some real sort of typical Hammond organ type licks with that sound, which sound great. So I'm going to have to work on that. I'll go back through some of my... Danny Gatton DVDs. Well, I haven't got a DVD player, but I'm sure they're online somewhere. And have a look at some of those Hammond licks that he does. But uh, see what you think of this. This was the, oh, let me show you the preset. Here's a bit of a solo using this. See what you think of the sound. Now the last clip from this gig, Ivan the drummer, he said he's been watching these videos. So this is a little test to see if he's watched this. So hello Ivan if you're watching. I said I was going to put him in the videos because I haven't really put him in the last ones because I didn't know if he wanted to be in them. And I don't know if he still don't know if he wants to be in them, but he's going to be in this one anyway. And we started this song without him. It was quite funny. Um, we thought it would be a good kind of one to do without drums, realising that the drum bit in the intro of this song is actually rather crucial. It's Jailhouse Rock, so of course you've got the dun dun, da da, which we realised without that da da, it was rather difficult. So I turned around, grabbed the drumstick and started doing it. So that's what the beginning of the clip is. And then Ivan, on his way back to the stage, made a very dramatic entrance and started playing before he'd even sat down. And what I like about this is that once he has sat down, he carries on as if nothing has happened. So this is just to test that Ivan is watching and to show you what an excellent stage entrance he can make. Right, this next gig, I've shown this venue several times, and this is a solo acoustic gig. And I'm showing this just in case there's someone else who hasn't watched my videos before, just to show you how I use my Quad Cortex as a looper, and I build up loops and I solo over it. And I have done a video which is dedicated to how I've set it up. I use the Quad Cortex in a hybrid mode. This is before the hybrid mode comes out on the next update. And it's a way of controlling the Quad Cortex using it as a MIDI controller to control the MIDI on itself. You have to get a little loop back MIDI lead. Anyway, if you want to know how I set all that up and I'm able to use scenes and the looper all in one go, I shall link to that video here. It's a hybrid mode video. So this is just a loop that I set up at the end of David Gray's song Babylon and solo over it. So all the sounds you hear on here are coming through the Quad Cortex. That's the only pedal I use now on acoustic guitar gig. So check this out.
final gig I'm going to show you, this is another regular one that you've seen many times and I think it was last week or the week before I showed the band and I could actually put the camera further out so you could see the whole band rather than me having to clip it on the PA speaker, my GoPro, that's one of the handy things about it, I just clip it on the speaker and you can get most of the band in. I got a better view last time but I was back to clipping it on the speaker and unfortunately our singer wasn't feeling very well so I had to step up and be the singer this time. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of clips. Now this first one was Sign Still Delivered by Stevie Wonder. Just to show you, I thought it was a good solo and the band sound fantastic. So I'm just going to show you this one first. <laughs> I'm using my regular setup on this gig. I've got my 56 Custom Shop Strat and I've got my regular pedal board, which now includes my H9. And I'm gonna leave you with this clip and just to prove that the novelty of the H9 hasn't worn off. Actually, let me show you this preset. I think this is pretty much as it ships. This is a kind of octave fuzz preset, which is uh, lots of fun. And I stick it on at the beginning of funky music, which I've done here, but keep watching to the end because I think I do four or five famous guitar riffs that are all in E. Now the first one, if you can spot it, it's uh, a riff that I've never really played. I know it very well, I've listened to it hundreds of times, but I was actually mucking around earlier in the day and I kind of worked it out. But have you noticed it took me a few goes for my brain to engage and me able to be able to play it properly? Because I think for the first time ever, I worked out how he played the uh, riff with a slide in it. Anyway, I'm not gonna give the game away, see if you can spot all the different riffs that I play in this, and I'm gonna leave you with this. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a like and a comment, that'll be very nice. I bring out new videos every Friday, 7 p.m. UK time. So, I hope to see you next week. Mm -hmm.